and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. There's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. Spartans, what is your profession? We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him, Vic. But the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. You ain't gonna die. At the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. My why is every single day when I wake up, every minute of the day, every hour of the day, I have an opportunity. Somebody who quit, somebody who gave up, somebody who stopped in life. I have the power at my nickname, the refresher. I have the power as the refresher to make you believe again, to make you get up when you got up three times and you say, I'm not getting up no more. That's my why. Your why is gonna push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why? Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same mother It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. That's called courage. Now that's the stuff leaders should be made of. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or dull, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it.